Welcome friends, it's your produce guy and today onions. Now I've got some beautiful examples of onions here. Onions are a bulb, very interestingly. They uh, are like a tulip or other flowering type of bulb, only this bulb grows above the ground. Those other bulbs are subterranean bulbs, but they come from the same family. Uh, you would see here the onion has the little roots on the bottom, and if my hand represented the dirt, this onion would sit just down in the dirt a little bit, like that. Uh, the bulb forming here and the green stalks up above. So that's how an onion grows. It is a bulb, not a root vegetable as some people sometimes refer to it as. Now, let's talk about our different types of onions here. First of all, our three main groups. I have here these brown or yellow onions. These are sometimes referred to as Spanish onions. These are your main full flavored onion that you'll want to use in most of your cooking applications. Roasting, they're terrific. Now the difference between these two is the brown onion has this uh, drier, thicker outer skin. That lends itself very well to storage. So you will see these onions typically in the summer and into the fall and winter. Uh, those will be available. Uh, the yellow onion, however, has a very thin outer skin and it's a little bit uh, soft. It's not as tough as that brown skin and hence these do not lend themselves to storage quite as well. So you'll mostly see these in the spring and summertime. These will be available. Both of these onions can be used to make the famous French onion soup and they do a wonderful job there. Let's move over to our red onions. Red onions are used often in fresh applications. They're great for that. You can take these and dice them up into a salad slice them and put them on a hamburger, or they make wonderful rings on a sandwich. The color livens up any dish, and they are great for that. Our third group is the white onion. These are a staple of Mexican cuisine, and in fact, they're personally my favorite for dicing up and putting over my tacos, and you can see that in our taco recipes here on the channel. Now, they, uh, when you saute these, they turn a wonderful golden color and they develop a terrific sweetness that is just great in any dish that you use them for. Now let's take a look at some of our specialty onions that I've got here. This first one is a sweet summer onion, commonly sold under the names of Vidalia or Walla Walla onions in the stores. You'll see that this onion has a very low profile, it's kind of flat here. That's one of the rules about onions, the flatter it is, the sweeter it is. So when you go to the store and look for these sweet onions, try to select the flattest ones that you can find. You'll be guaranteed a little more sweetness in that onion. And under that rule, you, this red onion that is uh, kind of flat here should be sweeter than this red globe onion right here. So that's just a little tip for you today. The next group here, I've got some small onions. Uh, they're known as boiler onions or pickling onions. They are just onions that are harvested a little, at a little earlier stage than the others. They grow the same way, but they're picked at a younger age, and they're used for making pickles or just having boiled onions, peeling those, maybe putting a sauce over them. Uh, I don't have an example of pearl onions here. Those are the same, same onions as these guys, only smaller, and they're used uh, traditionally in a fresh uh, English pea and carrot chopped carrot dish with the little tiny white onions in there. That's the pearl onions. Finally, I've got some scallions here, which are commonly called green onions, and you're probably familiar with these, the white ends and the green tops of those. These are great when you are looking for a milder onion flavor, maybe in a fresh guacamole dish, or um, you could chop them up in a salad. They're great that way. The nice part about these is they're 100% edible, and you can use the uh, tops even as a garnish on a plate, and that would look lovely. Now to pick these out at the store, we'll start with the green onions. You want These usually come with a rubber band around them. Make sure that the rubber band is clean and free of debris. If it's got debris in there, it means it's been picked over a little bit, uh, maybe has been in the shop a little while. Uh, you want a nice white tip on this end. You want beautiful fresh greens on the other end. They need to be free of yellowing 
uh, leaves or any slime that can uh, sometimes form there. That doesn't sound very pleasant, but that's what happens sometimes. Now, for our bulb onions, you want to pick one of them up and give it a squeeze. Make sure that it's a solid, firm onion. Also, it should be a little bit heavy for its weight. That tells you that it's well hydrated and hasn't dried out at all inside. You want to take a look at the skin and make sure that it's free from cuts, bruises, or mold. Uh, especially these white onions. They are quite susceptible to mold and you will often see underneath the skin at the top or the bottom uh, some black growth underneath. That's mold and you want to avoid that completely. Uh, do that and you will pick out a great onion every time. I am your produce guy reminding you that fresh is best. We'll see you next time. Today we're going to talk about garlic, that wonderful herb that you can use in so many different ways and add so much to your dish. Now garlic is available year round, however they have different varieties, in fact there's over 50 varieties of garlic that are available. You'll see them sometimes with a, a purple sort of skin on them, they'll come with red cloves, these are more of a, a yellow or white clove variety of garlic. They're available based on their storability. 